want to take a moment and chat with our Brooke Rogers. She was in the courtroom during Timothy Simpkins' sentencing just moments ago. Yeah, Brooke, can you walk us through what you were seeing and hearing in that courtroom today? Absolutely. So right before the verdict was read, the very last thing the judge said was he asked that there not be any outbursts in the courtroom. Um, this has been a very emotional trial for Simpkins' family, and they wanted to make sure that... Um, you know, that everybody maintained their composure and they did follow those rules. Um, what you could hear when the moment when the verdict was read was the sound of soft crying from several of Simpkins family members. Um, obviously very distraught. They had hoped that he would get probation that was on the table as a possibility. Um, obviously that did not happen. As we know, the verdict was 12 years and $6,000. Uh, the other thing that happened in the courtroom was at the very end, there was a victim impact statement given by Calvin Pettit, who was the teacher who was shot and injured and still has a bullet lodged inside of him to this day. And he said that he has not felt peace in nearly two years. He said he was not sure if he could ever forgive Simpkins. He said, your life is valuable and you deserve a second chance, but not right now. He also talked about the PTSD and all of the things he has experienced since this happened, how he's no longer able to teach. Um, that was obviously very emotional for him and for lots of people in the courtroom as well. Uh, Simpkins, for his part, was stoic as the sentencing was read. And when he walked out, his family members shouted, we love you, Tim. Back to you guys.